Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new and looking to advance in Photoshop, please hit the subscribe button and join the family of learners. In today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool photo manipulation effect in Photoshop. Shall we begin? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag this image and drop it into this photo. Now I'm going to make all these images available so you can practice and follow along. So the first thing we want to do is to take off the background of our pencil. So you want to click on your image, then you want to go under property, look for quick action and click on remove background. Now you can see that the background has been removed. This is very easy and simple. So what we want to do is rotate our image. So pick up your type tool. If your transform is not activated, make sure that your auto select and your show transform is on. If not, you can also click on command T to activate or control T if you are on the windows. So we are going to move our, our pencil and we are going to scale it to line up with the direction of the banana. Now we want to go ahead to scale it. So hold just one end, make it smaller like that. Now we want to go ahead and rotate our image a little, go under edit, transform, click on warp. And you notice that Photoshop gives you these pointers around your selection. Now we can go ahead and move this but notice that it's only moving just a little bit of our image, but we want to break it in pieces so we can move and manipulate our image. So you wanna go up to your options, your menu options above, click on the split, and we are just going to create some splits in between like that. And we're gonna click back on it again and create that. So now we are going to move different points of this banana just to set it in place. And you, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. And I'm going to do the same thing with this direction as well. And I'm going to do that and do this and move this out like that. And we are going to set this in. And I'm going to move this end as well to notch it a couple of times till you get it in the desired location. And then for this, I'm doing something like that. And I'm going to set this on the bottom like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on the check to accept it. So now you see that this effect is nicely done. Now, if we want to get this effect on our pencil, that line, we can basically add that easily. So I'm going to make a copy of this section and then apply it all the way to the top of the banana. So click on your lasso tool and we are going to click on the banana and we're going to just make a copy of this section and we are going to warp that around the rest of the banana. So I'm going to right click and make a copy, use my move tool and I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here and I'm going to go ahead to rotate like that. And I'm going to go to edit, transform the warp, and I'm going to go ahead to stretch it. So I basically wrap it around the direction of the flow of the banana. So it's a good blend and it curves with the direction of the banana. So I'm gonna make something like this. I'm going to pull this down. And so now that we have this all evenly done, I'm going to go ahead and click on my check to accept. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add a layer max, pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black. I'm going to increase my brush head using my left and right bracket. And I'm just going to paint to basically hide and blend this in. Then I'm going to blend the top portion in as well. Now I can go ahead and make one more copy of this. Command J, make a copy. And we are going to move that and rotate and set that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate just a little so it blends in very well. You want to make sure you are on the thumbnail, not on the picture layer. And basically, we get to blend this in. We are going to use the same concept and use that technique to do the other banana. So click on the pencil, make a copy, Command J, and we are going to move that and set that right there. So we have something like this. And I'm going to go ahead to scale it a little, rotate and fit it in, fit it in like this. Now this looks so perfect. We don't even have to do anything. So when you double click, you notice that it blends in very well. And it's because of the work that we did on the first one. So now that we have this, I can, I can go ahead and make a copy of this command J, make a copy of the second one bring that over, turn it, make it fit like that, and then blend it in as well. Move it up a little. Now we're going to make a copy, Command J, make another copy, set that over there, move that. I'm going to go ahead to warp this. So click on that layer, go to image, go to edit, transform and warp. And we are going to go ahead to add some points to help us divide it. Now we are just going to go ahead and move these in. We're going to set that in like that and do this as well. Move this in. And I'm going to click on the check to accept. Now with my foreground, with my brush, make sure the thumbnail is selected. Now you can blend this in. Now this banana match looks really good. This is a very easy way to match different photos. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.